Hello everyone, my name is Leith Halabi and today I'm going to present our work entitled by Open Circ for Diagnosis for, for Multi-Level Inverters Using an Improved Current Distortion Method. The content of my slide is prepared as shown in the following slide. We will start with a general introduction, followed by the basic uh, illustration the, illustrating the basic operation of hybrid MPC under faulty and healthy conditions, followed by describing the proposed fault diagnosis method. Then some uh, result and discussion. The, some results are shown with the discussion, necessary discussion, and finally summary of the uh, main content. Uh, and some uh, benchmark references we uh, depends on while preparing this work. The necessity for a reliable performance for power convertance is coming from that the power convertance, uh, converters have a higher failure rate in, uh, among all the power system components. Uh, in this regards, various methods have been developed to address the fault diagnosis of multi-level inverters. The main point of this method is to detect the fault in order to recover the healthy operation under the different faulty conditions. However, the main classification, classifications of the faults uh, Level are in power converter as shown in this diagram, uh, divided into three main level module level, which is dividing into switching and diode associated diode uh, phase uh, level, and uh, the whole system level. The main kinds of faults are divided due to the nature are divided into two main categories open circuit faults, which is the most common faults and will be studied in this work, and the short circuit faults. These faults can happen in the switching module level, as shown in the switches, which can be IGBT or MOSFET or the associated diode. In this regard, several studies have been investigated for fault detection for well-known topologies like NBC and T-type topologies. However, none of these studies is clearly said to detect and identify the faults in hybrid NBC converters. This is due to the different nature of hybrid NBC by using higher number of switches, different kind of switchings with a unique switching sequences and different kind of the pass in each state. In, in, each state. in this regard, this paper represents an improved fault detection method which is being used for hybrid MB, MB, uh, hybrid, hybrid MBC converters, which can be uh, detect uh, and identify the fault in every switches uh, precisely and accurately. The criteria while preparing any uh, fault detection uh, technique depends on three main points, cost, if, if there is any extra devices are being used or changing to the main topology, uh, output performance, the complexity, and how the system perform with the proposed fault detection method, and reliability, how many type of faults can be detected, and uh, the speed of detection. And this is summarized in uh, this figure. Now I will present uh, and illustrate the uh, basic operation of hybrid, AMB, hybrid AMBC under healthy conditions. First of all, it should be noticed two kinds of switches are being used in hybrid AMBC converters. Uh, here, IGBT, which is uh, colored by blue colors, and uh, MOSFET uh, switches uh, colored in red. E to achieve each uh, voltage state, uh, positive, zero, and negative, there are special, uh, special switching uh, sequences can be used under the normal switching, uh, normal operating conditions, which is shown in this table. Under the healthy conditions, all voltage vectors are being achievable, including small, large, and medium vectors, as shown in this figure. Uh, however, uh, the switching of hybrid MBC is a bit unique and different from the other uh, topologies, while we are using the MOSFET switch to uh, be operated at very high frequency, for this, in this case, it's 30 kilohertz, while the IGBT is used with uh, the lower uh, Switching frequency in this case is 50 Hz, which is the fundamental frequency as shown in this figure. Now, moving to the faulty conditions, under the faulty conditions, the inverter is unable to provide the desired voltage. For example, in this case, we have an open circuit failure at the upper IGBT switch as A1, DA1. In this case, it is impossible to, impossible to get the uh, positive state. Uh, while the current is in the positive direction, when we have uh, an open circuit in the uh, switching uh, in the switch, or in the negative direction, when we have an open circuit at the uh, associated there. However, the other states, such as uh, negative, uh, zero positive, and zero negative, are still applicable in this case. In the other case, when we have an uh, open circuit failure at the, uh, the 
upper clamp uh, diode, SA2 in this case here, we will have, uh, we will lose the zero, zero negative stress when the current is in the negative direction, uh, when we have a problem, uh, an open circuit in the uh, switches or in positive direction when we have a, uh, an open circuit in the associated diode. Uh, in this case, uh, the inverter couldn't connect the output to the, the neutral point and it is connected to the, uh, DC, uh, the positive DC terminal. The other case, which is the, an open circuit fault in the upper MOSFET switch QA1, DA, and the associated diode QQ, DQA1. In this case, the positive state is lost when the current in the positive direction, as shown in this figure, and uh, the zero negative state is lost when we are operating in the, uh, when the current is operating in the uh, negative uh, direction. It should be mentioned there is a slight difference between the fault in the upper IGBT and upper MOSFET. Therefore, we need a special uh, and accurate uh, fault diagnosis technique to detect the fault in, high, in the uh, MOSFET uh, switches, which will be explained later. Also, under the faulty conditions, all kinds of large and medium voltage vectors are being lost due to the fault, while only small vectors are being used and applicable to be used. Uh, now we will present and propose the uh, proposed fault diagnosis method. Uh, in this case, we are going to calculate the normalized current. This is started by calculating the stationary current frame, IDS and IQS, by uh, from the uh, three-phase current and uh, A, B, and C. This is uh, followed by uh, calculating the magnitude of these stationary currents, IS, as shown in equation number two. And finally, we divide every phase current, IX in this case, X is represent the phase A, B, or C on the uh, magnitude of the uh, current. And then uh, we calculate the average among the full period. The voltage difference, VD, represents the voltage difference between the uh, voltage of the upper and lower capacitors of the DC link voltage, as shown in question number four. Uh, number four. And uh, then we set uh, threshold values for the current and voltage to be compared with. And uh, the main conditions is represented in uh, equation number five and six, as shown here. Uh, for the conditions for the current are labeled by T and C for the voltage. Uh, X again represent the phase A, B, or C. Due to the complex combination of hybrid and DC, it is very hard to use only the basic method shown in the previous slide to detect the uh, MOSFET switch. So to identify it correctly, we add an additional threshold value as shown in question number seven associated with a uh, new condition as shown here also. Um, <clears throat> the, to sum up, the following table summarizes all kinds of switches, uh, all kind of the, the conditions necessary to detect the uh, different uh, faults among all the switching in the uh, phase. Here is the IGBT and the MOSFET. The proposed fault tolerance uh, fault detection strategy uh, uh, is uh, summarized in this uh, slide. Here, uh, we start by calculating the normalized current and voltage compared with the threshold value based on the result of the output detection. If it is from one to four, that means a fault between uh, uh, having in the IGBT switches from upper to lower, one to four, and five or six represent the MOSFET switches. Zero, that means there is no fault. The simulation result in this case, as uh, a figure, we have an open circuit failure at this uh, switching module as A1, upper IGBT, and uh, the detection fault is A1. And in the other case, on the, in B figure, we have an open circuit fault at the uh, lower IGBT as A4, and the detection value is 4. It should be noticed here that in the uh, case of an uh, open circuit fire at SA1, we have uh, getting close to the uh, positive state and here the negative state. Now we are using the, uh, we have, uh, we have uh, open circuit at the upper and lower clamp IGBT, SA2 and uh, SA3, as shown in these two figures respectively. Uh, the zero state here, it's very clear how it is the disturbance only in the zero state but the detection can be detected as remarked by two and three respectively. Now for the uh, MOSFET switches, we have uh, as shown in this figure, we can detect the fault as again, here the B state is also lost and uh, N state is lost in the other case, which is 
uh, can be accurately identified and detected by the proposed fault detection method. Here is five and here is six, the uh, fault detection value. Now to sum up, uh, in this where uh, an open circuit failure, which is the most common uh, false in power converter is being studied. Uh, this paper describes a creative method detect for detecting an open circuit faults in multi-level hybrid and DC converters. The proposed method depends on calculating the current distortion and uh, voltage difference in the DC link uh, voltage. Uh, also, it creates an improved uh, 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 lookup table to summarize all the variables of the fault detection. And finally, the simulation results demonstrate the effectiveness of the proposed method. These are the main references we used in uh, while preparing our works. Uh, this is everything. Thank you for your attention, and I will be ready to receive your question. Thank you.